Hey team, it's day 24. Hope you guys are great. Wanting to run through the six goals really quick, but also want to talk a little bit about night eating. Uh, there's a lot of different views on this thing. You hear a lot, a lot, a lot from the, uh, you know, fitness industry, the weight loss industry saying, you know, don't eat at night, you know, night eating, you know, makes you gain weight. Let's debunk that a little bit or, or talk uh, about the real, uh, let's get through the facts. But it is the third day in a row in my suit. And I can tell you right now, it's been hell week at work. So one thing I want to tell you is there's never an excuse for missing your goals. Uh, the little ones, you know, I talk about the habits, but uh, when what you do is supporting your kids, uh, you have to prioritize that as well. So it's all about priorities. And that's what I really wanted to talk to a little bit tonight is, you know, um, when it comes to priorities, you just got to do them, especially if they're the thing that take care of most important three little people in your life, or they're not little anymore. But anyhow, so let's get to the six goals and let's talk a little bit about night eating. And I think you're going to be surprised what I have to say, but again, do your own research. So day 24, weight was 222. So like it's the third day in a row and I'm actually decently happy about that. Um, I think it was 221.8. So, you know, I, I'm just getting kind of fluctuating back and forth. 1,748 calories. I did get 120 ounces. I only got six hours of sleep. So I always think when I don't get my sleep, it doesn't give me enough REM. It doesn't give me enough time to flush. So that's why I don't think I've, I've flushed down uh, uh, under 222 yet. Um, 30 minutes of cardio again with how busy I've been. That's just, I timed it out and I got my walking in and that's, that's, you know, that's, that's just how it has to be. That's how it has to be. 126 grams of protein. As you can see, I was a little lower on my calories. Like I am literally struggling to get these meals in during the day. So I'm having to eat a lot at night. And that's why I want to talk about night eating. Cause I ate a ton last night. And I'm like, I really want to talk about night eating. Like literally like 11 o'clock last night, I was at like a thousand calories. Um, no, I think it was about 1200 and I ate a pound of chicken, you know, just to get my protein up. I was, I was only at like 50 calories or 50 grams of protein. And so it was just crazy. I'm like, dude, I can't go this much because I talk about, you know, how the lower calories are going to give you, you know, not fuel your workout. And I am planning on working out after this. Uh, so when you really think about it, it's, it's, it is about priorities, but in the same sense, you do have to make some sacrifices and that I ate really late last night and whatever, you know, it's going to work, but there are some instances where you have to do it. So done with the six goals, but remember, you got the trifecta here, the calories, water, and sleep. Um, two of the three, I got this one. I will get tonight because, uh, you know, I get to sleep if I want to a little longer tomorrow. So I will have that above, but is eating at night bad? Now there are, there was actually one study done in mice, I think, uh, is the culprit for saying that night eating, you know, causes you to gain weight because there were two separate groups of mice. They basically fed them the same type of stuff. They just fed the one group a little later and they gain more weight. And, and, you know, then it's just funny. Be careful. Uh, when you're doing your research, look at the study design, has it been done in humans, uh, and so on and so forth, but I'm getting off course a little bit. Let's talk about nighting in general and why I believe it can cause you to gain weight. Just depends. So the calories with nighting normally, uh, they aren't calories that you typically need because most people don't wait all day to eat at night. Now, if you're doing some intermittent fasting and that's your window, uh, we did discuss that a little bit yesterday. You know, the night eating is normal, but from a calories perspective, it normally has you overeat when you're eating at night, you're overeating because you probably are sleep deprived. So when you don't have a lot of sleep or you're sleep deprived, you crave things, you crave sugar. Why is that? Because your brain brain takes a constant supply of glucose or sugar. And when you're tired, your brain says, Hey, let rev me up a little bit. Right screens. We can sit in front of a screen, either watching Netflix on our computer or even doing like work on a computer. And you sit down with some food, maybe a bag of chips or pretzels or fruit snacks, you know, anything you can think of that's not prepared on a stove or on a grill. And it's probably going to be pretty calorie dense. So if you eat a lot of it, like a sleeve of Oreos, you know, you're going to really shoot up again above your calories. Um, and that's what happens when you get in front of the screens. And that also causes you to lose a little bit of sleep because we're not winding down very well. And it has you form bad habits. Like for me, uh, I really have to think about it when I have these long work days uh, to ensure that I'm not going over to the pantry and just grabbing a bag of chips or grabbing something that's easy 
uh, when it's later and I haven't eaten much during the day because of just the demands that I have during the day. And um, so you get into some bad habits as well. And if you're a night eater and you're and it's part of your routine and you're eating good food, great. But a lot of times you've already eaten during the day and the habits are, you know, how many times have you walked over to the refrigerator and opened it up at night just to open it and you realize you're standing in front of the fridge and you're not really hungry. You know, so the habits that it forms along with your body craving that at that certain time at night and the foods, like I already talked about, the foods are not good. They're normally calorie dense. They're normally chips, fruit snacks. I mean, pick your poison, uh, marshmallows. I mean, just sometimes anything we can get our hands on that isn't that good. So, uh, is night eating bad though? Really? Is it? Normally what we do when we eat at night and the things we eat at night are what's bad. But honestly, uh, a calorie is a calorie is a calorie is a calorie. Like for a lot of my calories in my weight loss journey, I've eaten a lot. I normally eat when I'm done lifting and I lift in the evenings um, and, or I'll eat and go do cardio or I'll do cardio and, and eat after that. But I'm eating clean calories. I'm eating calories that are still underneath my daily requirements. Um, so, I mean, I'm a perfect example of continuing to drop weight. Uh, so I believe that it truly is what you eat. And if you're overeating, uh, more research points to that than night eating actually being bad. I, I don't believe it matters the time of day. Now, if you're sleep deprived, you know, body's probably going to say, your mind's going to say, Hey, I need more sugar. So that's where you get into some of this stuff that I just went through. So just remember the overall, and I'm a believer in, in this uh, calories in calories out, like just for straight weight management, you track your calories and trust me, you'll get results. There are other nuances from a macronutrient standpoint, like your carbs, fat, and proteins. Um, there is some hormone stuff in there. If you're getting a depletion of sleep, um, you know, the cravings that you may have, but honestly it's calories in calories out. That's my belief and I'm sticking to it. So anyway, I appreciate your guys' support. Thanks so much. If you have any questions, or comments, put them below. And as always, thanks for following me. And I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. So, and I promise I won't be in a suit. <laughs> so thanks and have a good rest of your day.